I'm Kim Coleman. I am founder of Paid Memberships Pro, which is a WordPress membership plugin. But we're not here to talk about memberships. We're here to talk about WooCommerce and Black Friday sales. So we have another product called Sitewide Sales. I'm gonna talk you through preparing your WooCommerce store to using this plugin. When we think about flash sales, there's a few key components that you might be shopping around to different plugins to try to find the right functionality for each thing. But basically, these are the five things, four things and one bonus thing you get when you use my plugin, which is sleeping in on Black Friday. But I'm gonna talk you through how to create that coupon in WooCommerce, how to schedule your sale so that it turns on automatically so you're not staying up until midnight to push go on anything, how to set up a site-wide banner and create a sale landing page if you're interested in having one. So I'm gonna pop over to my WooCommerce site. This is a demo site. It has like fake beauty products. Tried to pick something cool that everyone could engage with. But this is an example of a Black Friday sale where the entire store has an automatically applied discount. So you'll see everything is marked sale. Everything has strike through pricing. And this is all made possible with our site-wide sales plugin. So let's go into the back end. And I'll just show you in WooCommerce, they recently moved where coupons were stored. So I'm going to show you in this demo, I have three different WooCommerce coupons set up. If you're using a WooCommerce coupons plugin, like smart coupons or anything like that, it also works with site-wide sales and you can leverage those features. I'm going to show you three sale types. One is putting your entire store on 40% off. People will not have to enter a discount code. People will see that strike through pricing throughout the store. I'll also show you how to put a category in WooCommerce on sale and how to discount a single product. I like the single product approach. If, like Katie said, if your margins are tight, but you have a certain product that's like super popular and you want to just use that kind of as a loss leader, maybe you combine that single product Black Friday discount with a free shipping order minimum, like $150, and try to add have people do some add-ons. So in WooCommerce, if you haven't used this feature, under marketing coupons, You'll see you can give your coupon a code name. This is what people would have to enter at the checkout field. Commerce supports a few coupon types out of the box, but for this demo, I'm doing percentage discount because it's the most obvious to see across the store. For this, you can set the expiration date. And because this is a store-wide sale, I don't have any usage restrictions set up. I just, the only thing I did check was that it's an individual use only coupon. This is such a deep discount. So on Black Friday, you wouldn't necessarily want any other discount codes that are floating around out there to also be applied. So for this case, we're going to force this to be an individual. This is our site-wide sales plugin. It adds a new menu area to your WordPress site, site-wide sales. And you'll see here, I have three different sales set up. The first we'll talk through is how to put all your products on sale. With site-wide sales, there's just a name. That's an internal use only to help you identify what plugin or what sale is this information about. I set the sale date. This is not the Black Friday sale dates, but I wanted to show you some of the functionality for having this as your active sale. We chose WooCommerce as the sale type. This plugin does also work with a few other WordPress plugins, but for the intent of this webinar, we're showing the WooCommerce functionality. And I chose that coupon. This is the coupon that's going to get automatically applied based on some discount code rules. And that's the biggest part of site-wide sales is that you can have the discount code automatically applied based on some specific logic. I don't know if you've had this experience in your WooCommerce site, but people go to checkout, they complete checkout, and then you get an email. Oh my gosh, I didn't add my discount code. Can you change this? Can you update this for me? That's like a ridiculous thing as an admin to do. Uh, if it's one product that they bought, that's not so hard. If they bought a lot of things, there's just a lot of retroactive math you need to do, or you have to give them that like sad information. I'm sorry, like you didn't put the code in, no deal. I didn't deal with the fallout from that. In this case, a lot of sites that I see on Black Friday take that store-wide discount, don't make anyone enter a code, and just show the whole sale throughout the site automatically applied. And it's a good way to avoid any of that after-sale admin headache. Um, with site-wide sales, it has sale banners um, built in. So if you're not using another banners plugin, you don't want to install another opt-in monster or something like that, and there's a few options. We do integrate with Pop-Up Maker if that's your site-wide banner plugin of choice. But in this case, we just added reusable block functionality, which is super cool because if you're really digging into the WordPress block editor, you'll see how much you can really do with colors, with fonts, with layouts, with buttons. And I've think you're really leaning toward a place where you don't need an extra banner plug and you really just need something that's going to stitch the banners together on your site in a meaningful way. So in this case, I created a simple banner that's going to show across the top of the site. I'll show you how that looks. Um, you can change the banner behavior. So if you've been on a site where the banner keeps persisting on each page load, you keep dismissing it and getting more and more frustrated. I think on Black Friday, I would recommend always having your banner shown, not letting people permanently dismiss it. 
it's a special case where you can be a little bit more obvious about your sales. But on other times of the year, it may be best to be a little less obtrusive. There's some built-in features about hiding the banner by role. I won't dig into this too much, but it was a component about segmenting users. Katie mentioned maybe showing a better deal to people who are already customers. So you could certainly run a sale that's new customers only, or you could run a special Black Friday offer for previous returning customers and show kind of customer loyalty deals. So that's totally possible. You would just force people to be logged in as a customer, which is a, a role that WooCommerce puts on your people. And last, I'll show you this landing page for the sale. Some people don't create landing pages. And I think in the case that you're doing a site-wide discount, it's not necessary. But it can be a cool way to track performance of social media, of ads that you're buying, sending people to that landing page with some UTM parameters, seeing how the performance is for people that check out through your landing page. I like using landing pages more when you're showing a subset of products because you can make it really focused what's on sale. Something that's very frustrating on Black Friday is getting a discount code putting a bunch of products in your cart. And then when you go to apply the code, you realize half the items I really want don't apply to this discount code. So by doing it this way, you can use that landing page to highlight just the products that are on sale. I'll show you the back end too, but here's a simple landing page I made. I'll, I'm gonna put all this code on our blog later. I'll try to get the link to you all. This is a basic landing page that highlights a few of the products that are on discount. You'll see the products have that strike through pricing. And I think the Barn2 people are going to talk about this later, but I did set up their Quick View plugin, which just offers people a really shortcut way to get that product into their cart as quickly as possible. From your landing page, you can decide if you want to exclude people navigating back to your website. You can hide your header like I did here, or you can offer people a link back to shop the whole store. In this case, because it's a store-wide discount, I'm showing a subset of products that I've handpicked for my landing page, but you can of course show the link people back to the full store and give them like a really good shopping experience. I'll show you this in the back end of WordPress. This may or may not be overwhelming for you, but the way site-wide sales works, it allows you to show unique content on the landing page if people happen to visit it before the sale starts, while the sale is running, and after the sale ends. So it's a cool feature and it's all in one page. So if you've used anything like a nested block, like the columns block in, in the block editor, you know that there's a parent block and then you put things within it. So in this case, you designate that wrapper block for what sale period to show the content for. This section shows before the sale. I integrated this landing page with the convert kit. So I show people a sign up to join our mailing list to be notified when the sale starts. I have the sale content when the sale is active. And then I have an after the sale sign up to get notified of future sales. So I'll show you. Here's the, that same landing page. I'm logged in as admin so I can preview what this is gonna look like. But if this was a live sale and someone wasn't logged into the site, they could preview and see, oh, like you're running a sale. Here's the page. I'm gonna bookmark it. I'm gonna sign up. Oh, I can't wait. I gotta buy some acne cream right now. So go shopping. So i show you those cool features. I'm gonna talk through the next version. So this is a single category on sale. Everything here is the same different coupon code selected. And I set up that coupon code to only apply to products in this consultations category. For this example, I'm not gonna run a sale banner. I'm just gonna send people right to my consultations page through social media. I'm gonna design this one as if it's like a secret sale, but you can imagine, I think this is still the discount from the other one because I didn't make this the active sale. Let me do that. Okay, there, 15% off. So in this case, I set up a simple landing page. I'm gonna give people this URL directly via email to people I think would like this kind of offer. I'm showing a countdown timer that's also built into this plugin. So you don't need a separate countdown timer plugin if you're using this one. And then I just put those three products right here. The strike through pricing is automatically applying that coupon code and people can immediately add this item to their cart. You'll see here, this is also a bar two product you're gonna learn more about later, but it does automatically put that coupon code in their cart and then they can complete checkout in one step. So it's super fast checkout, great way to keep people from navigating around too much on your site and having doubts about what they're buying. I hope I have time to show one more. I can't see the time. I'm trying to divide this up evenly for all of us. The final, oh, I clicked to the wrong one. The final one is a single product sale. If you are like a download site, you have a plugin that you put on sale, maybe you only sell one thing. Your Black Friday, you can get really creative with that landing page and make a super focused checkout, um, almost an all-in-one checkout page where you just highlight what product's on sale. Close all these. You can still do a store-wide banner, um, but in this case, you could also change your menu and just add like Black Friday deal. 
and just really highlight what is exactly on sale. In this case, the coupon code that I created in WooCommerce, I set up a usage restriction for the product. So in this case, it's only that product. This coupon only works. You can't use other coupons with this checkout. I think this works best if it's like an ebook site or a course, something where you really only have one product and you want to create a super focused checkout experience. And I'll show you the single product page here. Here's my single product on sale. I'll put the code, the block editor code, so you can import this into your site, but make it super focused. You have one product. It's the only thing. There's no customizations. Just highlight what's on sale. Give people a direct way to add this item to their cart. They get that coupon automatically applied and then they're ready to check out.